What if somebody messaged you on a dating app asking, I know we've never met, but how would you feel about dropping everything you've got going on this week to go on a crazy adventure together in 48 hours across the world? See, there's two things Amar does extremely well, getting strangers to go on crazy adventures and organizing dates. But so far, the dates Amar has organized have always been for others. So today, it's time for that to change. While on Bumble a few months ago, he found the perfect opportunity to ask a stranger to go on the most spontaneous adventure of their lives. Okay, so this is what happened. I matched with the, the girl in Bumble. I have this pretty crazy idea where I would ask her to go on a, like, a trip across the world on a first date. On what? Uh, like on a first date. On a first what date? What if I've, I've like organized dates for you guys that have been like third really so f***ing hard that I feel like now it's my f***ing time <laughs> to go on an epic date. Yes! Set yes! Up! Yes! 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 I left her my number on Bumble and she texted me. So now I'm at the point where I'm about to go into stage two of my ask and ask her to meet up. I want to ask you what I want to ask you on camera. What's right. your name? Her name is Dali. What's your ah. name? This is so weird. Yeah. This is the weirdest way to meet with someone. Have you ever met this person before? But I promise. This is really intense. It is, it is intense. It's been five minutes and no response. <laughs> it's always the struggles. <laughs> Culturally, this wouldn't be like very appropriate for me to display that part of my life But my intention is to do this in the context of like friendship and just getting to know an awesome spontaneous girl Who's down for like adventure like that She's just responding as long as it's nothing illegal it has to do with snakes. Yes Thank you. Uh, Let's see if this coffee is gonna get me a trip across the world with a bumble date. All right now going to meet her all right, I'm pretty much approaching where we're meeting right now. Woo! Anxiety! Hello. I love your pink shoes, they're so cool. Thank you, I'm Amar. Nice to meet you. All right. This is probably the strangest thing anyone has ever asked you, right? Oh, yes. But first, I would like to offer you that. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, so. Let's drink coffee first. Well, oh, cheers. No. <laughs> <laughs> the buildup is killing you, I guess. It is, it is. What's the craziest thing that I can do on like a date? Yeah. And the answer was what if I ask my date to go on a trip across the world for a first date? <laughs> oh my god. So we'd literally just book a ticket, whatever the cheapest ticket is, and just like go for it. And then throughout this time, I'll get to know. Of course, there's no obligation, there's no expectation <laughs> for anything. This is done in the in the context of friendship, and by no means this is to put any pressure on you. Because if it's a no, then it's simple. Just delete this footage. It's, it's all okay. But um, yeah, wow, it's it's getting hot in here. So I'm guessing Tuesday to Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done something this crazy ever in my life. That's the whole point. <laughs> I love the attitude. You know, I've been trying to say yes to more things. <laughs> Here's a perfect opportunity for a college student to just keep the campus life. Yeah, we're gonna so. be best friends for sure. All right, so I just got back and the guys just happened to be pulling in at the same time. We're good to go, she said yes. What? Yeah. She said yes to go no, do what? To go like on the trip. No way! And, and I told her, I'm not gonna tell her where, she, where we're going and she still said like, sure. Was she cool? She was really cool. Wait, it's finally Amar's turn to go on a fucking trip with the girl. Woo! When do you leave? You'd probably leave on Tuesday, literally after tomorrow. In two days. In two days. As someone who's been in a very similar position before, do you recommend international dates with Yes Theory? Yes, for sure. You are the best like third wheeler because you're so funny. Aw, that, that just gives me that boost of confidence. Just going into this knowing that I'll kill it. It's official, I got the passport. I just booked tickets to Iceland. I am actually leaving in 48 hours to an entirely different continent, to a place that I've never been to before with a human being that I've met for a total of 10 minutes. All right, be safe. Los Angeles International Airport to meet Cali. I don't know, I was 
very stressed this morning and I was always behind the camera for the other experiences when Thomas and Matt were in similar situations and now I understand how nerve-wracking it is to just be doing such an intense experience with a complete stranger. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> we, we did, did it. it! I know! I was like really excited. I was like super down to go. I called my friend. She was like, that's super weird. Don't do that. I was like, oh shoot. And then I called my parents and they were like, go! Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow, you've got chill parents. Yeah. You just got randomly selected? Yeah. Welcome to my life. <laughs> I ended up setting something up in Iceland, but I actually forgot to book where we're gonna stay. We're just gonna have to do it like on the plane or something. Yeah. I hope I'm not scaring you. <laughs> like a little. I was like gonna follow you and I realized very quickly I need to be like, no, we're going this way. Exactly. <laughs> Apparently, this is her first ever bubble date, so I'm glad that it could be a, a cool, <laughs> cool experience. later we just landed we're gonna head to the hotel right now drop off our stuff and start the adventure a lot of things planned today she still has no idea what we're doing first morning in Iceland we've got about 48 hours in the country before we have to catch a flight back to LA so the only plan is to find as many epic adventures as we possibly can to fit into those 48 hours and head back to LA let's get started <laughs> all right <f> it. <laughs> We can hop on. Yeah, <laughs> we're basically gonna be going ice cave exploration and snowmobiling over the second biggest glacier in Iceland. It's like we're just driving through like a white desert. So strange. Put you on the spot and let you explain to people what's going on as I fly the drone. <laughs> I don't think you can do this. <laughs> you can do it. So the tire just popped and we're waiting for someone to come and fill it up. You ready to explore some caves or what? Watch you just come and take me out. <laughs> All right, day two. We are actually heading to Blue Lagoon right now, which I've seen in a lot of videos and a lot of like promo things on Iceland, and it looks super pretty. Let's do it. You got it? This is the best thing ever. Boom! Got it! This is the part I've been waiting for the entire trip. We're going to get the snorkel between the two tectonic plates of North America, which is right over there, and Eurasia, which is right over there. And we're gonna be swimming right in the middle. Water is, of course, freezing, so we'll be wearing dry suits. This is the last bit of the video. She does not want to be seen. We all look hideous. <laughs> but if this is the last footage found of us, because we just froze to death down there, it was a good run. Oh, it's really warm today. Yeah, it's like four degrees, not three. Made it out. Literally one of the most beautiful things I have ever experienced. Just floating between two continents. I never would have thought that I would step out of the water into the snow like this. <laughs> Just walking. Just got to the airport, heading back to LA. Literally has been the most adventurous, spontaneous 48 hours I've ever had. I mean, I think it's absolutely crazy and I feel like I would have never said yes, but I'm really, really glad I did. I'm glad you did too. <laughs> It's so weird to me that this was the first person I ever met on Bumble. This is the first time I ever met someone, I guess, on the internet. <laughs> and now I'm in Iceland. I'm very happy and I'm like proud of you for doing it, so that's for the high five we missed at the beginning of the episode. Now let's do it again. Now let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah, here we go. Oh, that was a good one. All right, we'll see you in the next episode.